Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. Welcome to the playlist of crochet chess set where you can create your own crochet chess board and coins. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a step by step pattern of making this pawn for our chess set. So, let's get started. For this project, I'm using a cotton 4 ply yarn and a crochet hook of size 3 mm. Now let's begin with a magic ring. I prefer holding the yarn with the help of little finger as shown. And this type of hold gives good tension while working on amigurumis. Now chain 1 and adjust the ring. Let's start making first row. For this, make 6 single crochet stitches into the center. That's the second one. Third. Four. Five. And the sixth one. Now, close the magic ring and make a slip stitch into the first stitch. For this pattern, I am not working in spirals, I am just working in rows and this helps to give the detailing easy and clear. So for this, make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes the first row. And now for the second row, begin with chain 1 and make 2 single crochet stitches in each stitch. That means we are going to make a single stitch increase in each and every stitch. That's two single stitches in second stitch. That's first one and the second single stitch into the same stitch. Continue to make a single crochet increase in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now we are making the last increase of second row and by the end of the second row we will have 12 stitches. Now slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes the second row. Now let's start making the third row. For row 3 and row 4, begin with chain 1 and make one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches throughout the row which means row 3 and row 4 will have 12 stitches in each row now here i am making the last single crochet stitch of fourth row and now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes four rows and this is how the head of a pawn looks like. So now let's continue. Chain 1 and start 5th row. For this, I am going to make an invisible decrease. Which means insert the hook into the front loops of the next 2 stitches. Drop a loop through both the loops. And now make a single stitch. That's an invisible decrease. Again make an invisible decrease into the next 2 stitches. So continue to make invisible decrease throughout the row. That means for the 6 times. That's the 3rd one. Again insert the hook into the front loops of next 2 stitches. Drop a loop and make a single stitch. That's the 4th one. Insert the hook into front loops, drop a loop and a single stitch. That's the fifth decrease and finally the last sixth decrease. So by the end of the fifth row, we will have six stitches. Make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes the fifth row. So after completing 5 rows, this is how the head of a pawn looks like. Next we have to work the body part. 
and before that we have to stuff the head with some fibrofill for this i have taken a small amount of fibrofill and inserting it into the head of the pond take small amounts of fibrofill and insert it into the head here i am taking the help of a bigger needle so it will be easier for me to insert it Once the head is filled, now let's start working on the neck and uh, body part of a pawn. Now we are at this beginning of sixth row. Begin with chain one. And now make one single crochet in each of the stitches. That's the third one. Fourth single stitch. Fifth. And finally the sixth one. Now make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And this completes the sixth row. Now by the end of the 6th row, we will have 6 single crochet stitches. Now let's start making the 7th row. For this, chain 1. Make 1 single crochet stitch in the first stitch. That's 1 single crochet stitch. And in the next stitch, make an increase that means two single crochet stitches going into the same stitch now repeat this pattern for two more times that means one single crochet stitch in the next stitch followed by one single crochet increase that's one sc and one increase another single crochet stitch and one increase now with this increase this completes the seventh row now slip stitch and we'll have nine stitches in your seventh row this begins the body part of the pawn now chain one and make one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches which means we'll have 9 single crochet stitches in your 8th row that's 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now make a slip stitch into the first stitch This completes your 8th row. Now let's start making row 9. For this chain 1. Now make 1 single crochet stitch into the same stitch. And then another single crochet stitch in the next stitch. Which means we have 2 single crochet stitches. And in the next stitch make a single crochet increase. That means 2 single crochet stitches going into the same stitch. Continue this pattern of 2 single crochet stitches and increase. We will repeat the pattern for 3 times in each row. Again 2 single crochet stitches, that is the first one, second one and finally the increase. This completes your 9th row. Make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now we will have 12 single crochet stitches. The video is made in such a way that you can crochet along with the video. And anywhere if you are feeling fast, adjust the playback settings. Now chain 1 and start making 10 through. Make 1 single crochet in each and every stitch 
that's the third one four and likewise continue throughout the row until you reach the starting point now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your 10th row with 12 stitches now chain 1 make 1 single crochet stitch in each of the next 3 stitches that's the second one and the third one now in the next stitch make one increase again make three single crochet stitches that's the second one and the third one and now make a single crochet increase repeat the pattern one more time that's one two and three single crochets and in the last stitch make an increase this completes your 11th row with 15 stitches make a slip stitch into the first stitch it's slowly taking the shape of a pawn you can see the outcome now chain one and let's start making row 12 for this make one single crochet stitch around which means by the end of the 12th row we'll have 15 single crochet stitches now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your 12th row at this point put in some stuff near the neck and body part of the pawn this helps to hold the shape of a pawn better and if needed take the help of a wider needle I am using this 5mm needle just to push this stuffing into the neck and head parts of a pawn it helps to hold the shape of a pawn while we are working the next rows So once the head and neck are filled and holding its shape correctly, put the stuff into the body part of a pawn. Again do not stuff too much, we will stuff it at the end. Now let's continue to make row 13. Begin with chain 1. Make 4 single crochet stitches, that's the first one, second, third and the fourth one. Now in the next stitch, make 1 single crochet increase, that means 2 single crochet stitches into the same stitch. 4 single crochet stitches and an increase. Now repeat this pattern 2 more times. That's first, second, third and the fourth one. And now in the next stitch, make one increase. One more time. That's one, two, three and four. In the last stitch make an increase now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your row 13 with 18 stitches you can see the shape of a pawn now make chain 1 and let's start making row 14 for this make one single crochet stitch in each of the stitches throughout the row until you reach the starting point. Now here I am making the last single crochet stitch of 14th row 
and now make a slip stitch into the first stitch now this completes the pawn shape now let's start closing this pawn for this let's start making row 15 make chain 1 and now we are going to work only in the back loops of the 15th of the 14th row that means insert the hook into the back loop of the stitch drop a loop and then make a single crochet stitch and now for the next two stitches we are going to make a single crochet decrease that means drop a loop from each of the back loops of next two stitches and now draw the yarn through the three loops on the hook that's a single crochet decrease again make one single crochet stitch and make a decrease for the next two stitches drop a loop from each of the next two stitches and draw the yarn through th all the three stitches repeat the pattern of one single crochet stitch and one decrease throughout the row for six times until you reach the starting point so here i am making the last decrease so drop a loop from each stitch and make a single crochet decrease now make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes row 15 and we'll have 12 stitches by the end of 15th row you can see the shape it is taking a closing flat shape now it's time you put in some more stuff to hold the better shape of a pawn. Stuff in with some more fiber fill to hold the better shape of a pawn. Make sure you stuff it good enough. And you can always check the stuffing by pressing the bottom flat. So by that you can understand if it can take more stuff or not. So it is full now. Let's start making 16th row, the last row of the pawn. Adjust the thread, chain one. And now the, I'm going to make an invisible decrease of the next two stitches, which means insert the hook into the front loops of the next two stitches, drop a single loop, and then make a single stitch this is we call it as an invisible decrease that's the second invisible decrease likewise make six single decreases here is the third decrease again insert the hook into the front loops of next two stitches drop a loop and make a decrease that's the fourth one this is the fifth one and finally insert and drop a loop make an invisible decrease and finally make a slip stitch into the first stitch this completes row 16 now chain one and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end and this tail end we are going to use it to close the pawn and give some detailing now this completes the crocheting part of pawn now let's add in some details and finish the project for this I'm using a tapestry needle insert the tail end into the needle eye and now weaving through the front loops of all the stitches in your 16th row pull the tail end tightly to close the hole and make a knot this finishes the project now insert this needle through the center all the way to the top of a pawn at the center now gently pull the tail end on the top so the bottom will remain flat and will stand perfectly Make a knot on the top part of a pawn and this helps to give a little more detail. I made three loops on the tail end 
and made a knot closer to the pawn and now draw the needle from top to bottom through the center again pull it gently to give the shape of a pawn and now make a final knot at the base weave in the extra ends and trim the excess thread now let's add some detailing to the pawn for this i am using yellow color embroidery thread i inserted it into the needle and add detailing as shown this detailing part is completely optional you may or may not add the detailing to your pawn but personally i feel this little details add will enhance the look of the project so even it it might take a couple of minutes more it will really enhances the look a lot After completing the embellishments secure the ends tightly by making a knot and trim the excess threads and this completes the pawn structure So what are you guys waiting for let's start making the chess set and remember we will have total of 16 pawn for our chess 8 in one color and eight in another color and the color choice is absolutely your wish even though you stuff the pawn with enough filling it is suggested to add some weights at the bottom of a pawn so it will stand without falling while you are playing you can sew them together or attach it with the help of a hot glue gun i took these washers you can check whatever material is available for you So this makes it even more reliable for playing. Isn't this cute? I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Keep watching the playlist for the patterns of remaining chess set. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.